Hi, welcome to another 41 Designs video. I'm going to share um, um, one of my newest um, journals with you. This is actually, you'll see, <laughs> you'll see some of my journals um, that are starting to show spring even before spring blooms here in Colorado. There's still snow on the ground, but <laughs> being that it's officially spring, I am um, working on a lot of uh, beautiful um, flowers uh, and, and birds and butterflies in my journals. So I'm definitely feeling spring and I, I hope that these journals kind of capture that feeling um, for you. So I'll start with, this one has a lot of bling. <laughs> I've added a lot of sparkle on this one, but um, I'll, I'll take you kind of through all the details. So this one is also uh, stitched in. So you have one signature and it is um, stitched into the cover. I created this uh, really sparkly and chunky um, charm. It has a lot of pretty embellishments. There's a little heart. There's definitely some um, sparkle with the glass beads and this pretty beaded flower. I thought that was so perfect for the, for the color scheme. This has a lot of blue in it. So if blue is your color, this might be the one. Um, then I added, so on the, first of all, look at that, oh my gosh. This is one of the newest um, Anna Griffin die cuts. She is just super duper talented and I love the quality of her products, so I incorporate them a lot in my work. And um, this just kind of says it all. <laughs> that is just so beautiful. So I added the die cut image and some rhinestones and then um, an alterations tag and created the envelope with that. But then there's also kind of one in between. Let's see if I can pull it out. So you, oh, it's, I caught it on the, on the closure. So you have this beautiful blue flower image that's printed on there. And then it it's kind of looks like wood. But then I added um, some crystal and acrylic beads and then the word love and it's in, in one of those like kind of vintage um, like safety pins and I think it's just perfect um, and you can actually move it around um, in the journal if you want and that's what I, I like to do that where you keep um, things are kind of it's kind of like a flow journal I guess you could say where you, you kind of really make it your own um, so then we move on to the closure which is my Kind of like my favorite closure to um, to add to my journals and it just has some crystal I mean not crystal uh, glass beads and some chain and then it's completely removable so we'll go inside okay I'm in frame yay <laughs> so um, I just added some scrapbook paper so you can journal on and and decorate and some printed, some printed images, and this is a Tim Holtz die cut. And that's in this little pocket, and then you have this really pretty butterfly, with um, just like a little piece of um, vintage music sheet on there. And I think it just adds to the to the layer. So you have a paper doily. I love this paper because it looks like it's kind of like stitched in with with um, kind of like uh, lace and ribbon. And then of course the music sheet is so beautiful. Here's another one of those um, Anna Griffin die cuts and you'll see them plenty throughout because I just ordered a whole bunch of her products. <laughs> she was on, um, she was online for the um, craft month. And yeah, so I sort of stocked up on her, on her goodies. So, um, here is one more of the flowers. So I used it sort of like, um, kind of to embellish um, the dress form die cut. And then I added some rhinestones to kind of create like the effect of a belt and then the flowing flower um, off of the die cut. So it kind of looks like it's almost part of a, of a dress or something. So then I, I created a, um, a nice big tag and then some printed images on there and these are great for journaling you can add a picture behind it or in front of it and then just use it as a layer piece as you make this your own and then the the die cut is actually in a, in a brown um, 
bag, a small brown bag, so you could use that also to tuck, to tuck things in like that. So you have vintage music sheet here with the doily, and then I added some of the wrinkled seam binding onto the paper clip, which I think just adds a little, you know, something. <laughs> So you, um, on this, this is just a, a, a like a journaling page, and I didn't want to um, clutter it with too much because I wanted you to have the space to journal on, obviously. So I just added a little bit of washi tape on the edge. Then on this one, um, of course, butterflies, and you'll notice a lot of blue, like I like I mentioned earlier. Um, so I try to kind of coordinate the the embellishments to to kind of go with that. Um, color scheme. So this one has um, a nice big gold paper clip with some ribbon on it and then what I did so you have that and then so then you can just journal and maybe add a picture and journal um, on this page here. You could even add a picture here too so lots of spots for you to add your memories. Here's another uh, punched out butterfly and I added some rhinestones and then this really pretty kind of looks like um, like kind of like lace ribbon but it's actually a sticker and um, that's that creates kind of a pocket when you fold the paper over and attach it there and then I added more just more scrapbooking paper you can journal on and um, some images from online and some of my favorite Etsy shops Then you have scrap of paper and a die cut here, and perfect with the, the lines for you to journal on. On this side, I created a pocket, and I added, look at this, I love this paper. I just don't have enough of it. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's got like a pearl kind of finish to it. So that's a great little um, place to journal, it's a nice little tag, and then just another image from an Etsy shop. And some more printed images, I created a belly band just using some scrapbook paper on there. You could tuck stuff in there. So you have um, some coffee dyed um, notebook paper, and I added a Tim Holtz die cut, and then folded it over and created a pocket on this side. So on this side, it's just um, a, a little tag that I added some wrinkled seed binding to, and I think it adds, you know, just a cute little element. And a perfect little blue butterfly. <laughs> this one has, I'm gonna try to move it so you can see if you can capture the, the sparkle. It has um, kind of like a glittered edge on that butterfly, it's so pretty. So one more pocket on this page. And then this is some Tim Holtz and some printed um, ephemera on there. And then behind it is the what's a pocket. So you have a nice big piece of uh, scrap of paper so you can, um, it's like cardstock actually, it's, kind of, it's nice and thick. So you can journal on and add a picture or something. Here's some more of the Anna Griffin um, die cuts. And then, um, Kind of like the, the white um, envelope with pretty butterfly and some rhinestones and then I just added scrapbook paper on this side and I just added some um, cardstock in there so you can journal on and I just think it's so pretty lots of spaces for you to add your pictures and your goodies I really um, I'm working on uh, one that I will have finished with um, some of my memories so you can kind of get an idea of what I mean and what I kind of envision when I create the journals of where you can add a picture and how you can journal and and, and really personalize and make your own so once that's done I'll definitely share the video with you so more of the Anna Griffin um, flower die cuts those are so pretty so on this page, I did a little bit of a paper collage look um, to fill the page instead of just one piece of scrapbook paper. And I really like the way that came out. I think I might do more of that. And then um, a printed image, and some, this is some Tim Holtz um, scrapbook paper that I just cut down to size so I could use that as a kind of like a, a journaling card or something. Then here's the other side of that 
um, coffee dyed uh, notebook paper and then I added one of the Anna Griffin die cut pieces and then I created a little tiny um, like notebook with some coffee dyed paper and it's kind of like you know where it's kind of wrinkles and bends and stuff and I love love the look of that and then I used that really pretty stitching that I showed you I think in, in some past journals I stamped an image and then I added some washi tape so you have your own little kind of notepad that goes in there you can move it around and another printed um, flower image and then on this side what I did is I did one of those kind of um, journaling bands I guess and I added more of that beautiful pearl um, scrapbook paper it's, it's kind of like cardstock and then this is just kind of like a journaling um, opportunity for you so I added some Tim Holtz and um, ephemera and stuff on that oh and then the paper clip I just added some baker's twine I thought the black and white went really well with kind of like what, what's going on here with the, the butterfly and stuff. So this actually goes here. That's just a little um, tag. And then on this side, I added one more um, scrapbook paper um, piece that you can journal on. And then an alteration tag. And today is the day. I love that. Um, and you could actually take this and use it in kind of like a full page like this. I think that would be really pretty. So I like adding kind of bigger elements. Oh, wrong page. Oh, and then I forgot the little, the little blue butterfly. So more, I love this paper. I don't know, there's something so kind of vintage and romantic about it. Um, another Anna Griffin die cut. And then on this side, this is just um, writing paper, and then I, I created another one of the of the little bands, and I just decorated. You could add a you know small picture and maybe journal. Um, you can always journal inside, and you can see this has kind of that pearl finish to it. It's really pretty. And then the paper clip also has a little tiny um, uh, piece of baker's twine. This is the vintage uh, music sheet and then the butterfly and I added some rhinestones to it. I think it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> I, have to, I have to add rhinestones and, and beads and, and just sparkle to the journals. Um, this one, it's topped with a really pretty Anna Griffin butterfly and then just some scrapbook paper on top of the vintage music sheet. This has some scrapbook paper and this would be perfect. I could just see how this would be so beautiful with a really pretty picture um, on this side and then you know journaling of what what a beautiful memory that was. That's um that's how kind of what I envision when I when I create my journals. Just a lot of happy memories. So here's the other side of that really pretty paper that I showed you before that has kind of that collage look. Um, another one of the ribbon stickers and you, I wish you could feel that. It's, it's got um, almost like a flocked um, texture to it. So when you run your fingers over it, it just feels very soft and, and nice. <laughs> so this has um, the, the other side of the paper doily and then I created a pocket with the, the brown, the small brown envelope, and then I created just a nice big tag and some um, printed ephemera pieces. The little envelope, I kept it closed with just a little paper clip that I added some ribbon to it. And then inside, what I did is that I just added some, um, th that little, that blue paper that I showed you before. So it's a, it's a, um, punched out butterfly that you could then use throughout your book and then another one of those really pretty uh, bird images. And that goes in there. You can just kind of use the paper clip to keep it all together. And I already showed you the, the closure. 
and there you are. And this is the this is the back. See more of the blue butterflies. And then I added some um, really pretty black ribbon. But I don't know if you can kind of see. Make sure I'm in camera here. Um, it, it has almost like a silver thread that's run all along the side of that ribbon. It's really, really pretty. So a lot of sparkle, a lot of blue, happy spring um, images. And I just, I just, I'm so excited to, to put this on, on my Etsy shop so you, somebody can bring it home and fill it with lots of really happy memories. So I'm going to be recording a few more videos. I'm kind of behind on the videos. Um, so I will try to upload them all um, in the next day or so, but this, this one is definitely gonna be in my Etsy shop. So I'll add the listing information on the video and then also all the accounts where you can find me, like my social media accounts and stuff, if you wanna kind of follow along there. And um, yeah, and that's it. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave them um, on the video and I will see you soon. Have a great day.